Now that we've familiarized ourselves with the concept of shells and their structure, it's time to develop our shell. As we discussed in the introduction video, you can either create a brand new shell from a shell template or modify an existing shell. To help us decide which development method to use, let's consider the following scenario. You're a CloudShell admin and you have a device. To add the device to CloudShell, you need a compatible shell that accurately models your device. So first you check the Quali Community Integrations page for an existing shell. You can use the filters on the right and search for the shell by name. To learn about the shell, you can check out the shell's GitHub repository for a README file. And of course, see the shell's standard on GitHub under Quali Systems. If you find the shell you're looking for, simply download and install on CloudShell. Let's say you find the shell, but you need to tweak it a bit to support your device's logic. Maybe add some attributes and commands. In our case, the shell you want needs to have commands that are specific to your needs, and therefore, this shell will probably not be useful to others. So you decide to extend or create a customized version of that shell. To extend a shell, you need the path to the shell source code. The path can be a URL to the shell source code on GitHub under the desired release, or the file system path prefixed by local and a colon to the extracted source code folder. To get the source code, open the shell's releases page and copy the URL of the desired release's source code. In command line, navigate to the folder that will contain the extended shell and run the shell foundry extend command. Set the path to the shell source code. The shell is created in the folder from which you ran the command. If you think this shell can be useful to others, please feel free to share it on the community integrations page. Now, let's assume you can't find such a shell. If that is the case, you will need to create a new shell from an existing Shell Foundry template. To see a list of our templates, run the Shell Foundry list command. Each template is based on a standard, which defines the structure and default attributes of the template. So to help you decide which template to use, check out our standards on GitHub. In the Quali system space, search for CloudShell standards and open the documentation folder. If what you are looking for could apply to others, tell us about it. You can use Quali Community's idea box to submit the request. We might even create the shell for you. Let's say the shell you need fits a standard. For example, the shell networking standard. The template that uses this standard is a networking template. Open command line and navigate to the folder that will contain the new shell. Run the shell foundry new command. In the command, give the shell a new name and specify the shell template. This standard has three templates, switch, router, and wireless controller. We'll create a router shell. The shell is created in the folder from which you ran the command. This concludes our demonstration on creating or extending a shell. We hope you enjoyed it.